I would also like to institute a more streamlined, hospital-wide email system. <laughs> uh, Dr. Lahiri, I understand you're a, a single, uh, you, you, you've, you've recently, but, but without a, uh, not, not that you have. Oh, I'm a single mother. You're single mother. Yes. Can you balance that with doing this stressful job? Absolutely. I mean, having a child has actually given me so much more focus. Oh, and I don't exercise, so that's an extra 10 minutes a day that goes just towards work. <laughs> I see. And um, as a leader, do you have the ability to keep your emotions at bay and think logically under stressful situations? My emotions? Oh, I've learned to eat those. Not a problem. Yeah, for sure. Do you ask everyone that question? Uh, yes, of, of course. Uh, finally, is there anything else you'd like to tell us? I just wanted to say what an honor it would be to lead this department. When I first entered this hospital years ago, what with its modern facilities and perfectly breaded hospital cafeteria chicken fingers, I thought, wow. This is my home. And under my leadership, I would want to make sure that all of my patients' babies would enter this world in a loving and peaceful environment. Thank you for your consideration. Hey, Jody. I think you butt dialed me, so you better hang up before you start having sex. No, no. I called you on purpose. They just emailed out the times for those candidates getting final round interviews. Mine's at 11.45. I can't decide if I should wear my breakfast blazer or my noonday suit. It's a real good spot. I'm right between two fellas with chronic halitosis, so I'll be a literal breath of fresh air. When is your second interview? Mindy? Mindy? Mindy, are you still there? I actually haven't checked because I don't even want the job anymore because my life is so perfect. I hope someone else gets it, actually. Hashtag blast. Oh, Mindy, what a shame. You didn't make the cut. Well, on the bright side, you'll have more time to online shop and follow the saucy adventures of Miss Olivia Pope. What the hell? I am way more qualified than Jody. I created the Hospital Hawaiian Shirt Day. That almost took off. White men get to do everything. They can hail cabs, direct Hollywood movies, host late night talk shows. They can even write in the snow with their pee. <sighs> I wish I was a white man. Whoa, I slept like a log. Is there a gas leak? <gasps> my hands are white, my voice is low. I have a <gasps> circumcision? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, whoa, that is what it's like to stand up with strong core muscles. Okay, okay. Ooh, damn, I'm kind of bangable. Check out my butt, juicy. Whoa, am I giving myself a boner? Cool. Okay, chill out. You asked for this. So, you're a white man now. Well, bitch, you're a white man now. Wow, everything about my life is different as a guy. Look at this man cave. Leather furniture, football stuff, humidor. So, who the hell am I? Michael Lancaster? That's white as hell. Basically a Whit Stillman character. Whoa, I'm so white I know who Whit Stillman is. Man, that is a lot of light brown. Guess I'm not a gay man. Hmm. No ring. Looks like I'm a divorced baby daddy. I bet some skank took me for all I'm worth. Ooh, I have to pee. This is gonna be cool. Whoa, Niagara Falls much? I wish my shower had this kind of water pressure. Well, now that that's out of the way, let's see what else this bad boy can do. Well, it's definitely not as good for guys. It's much easier though. And the finish certainly has a wow factor. Oh crap, I'm late for work. I'm never gonna get ready in time. What the hell? Guys can get dressed in no time and still look great. I even have time for one more 